So we're going to see how using just two circles will help us to get the square root of 1, the square root of 2, the square root of 3, the square root of 4, the square root of 5, and even the golden ratio. So let's take a look at how we do it. I wanted to take some time to look at the vesica piscis, or the vesica piscis, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, it's really quite an interesting design. It would allow you to be a master builder and create very important proportions in geometry and design. We start by drawing a circle and we're going to draw another circle of the same size only we're going to put the center here on the edge of the first circle. Now if I had started with a line here, what we would be doing would be cutting that line in half and making 90 degrees. So we use this construction to make a perpendicular bisector. We use the two circles or the pieces of two circles to find the middle of a line and cut it in half at 90 degrees. So let's look at some of the proportions and the math we have so far here. We can call this 1 from here to here as the radius. And if we connect from here to here, we also have a radius of 1. And from here to here, we also have 1. And so we know this is a regular triangle where this side, this side, and this side are all equal because they're all the radius of a circle. And the radius, any radius of the same circle is equal to the same amount or congruent. So being that we cut this in half, this is going to be 30 degrees and 30 degrees because we have 60, 60, 60 for a regular triangle. So for a moment I'm going to cut the proportions in half. So instead of calling the radius 1, we're going to call it 2, 2, 2, 2. And so then this will be 1 and this will be 1. But this radius here will be twice as big. And so many of you might know the 30, 60, 90 ratio, where you have the small leg and the hypotenuse of a ratio of 1 to 2, or the hypotenuse is double the small side. So this side in the middle here, from here to here, we can calculate the value. If we call it x, x squared plus 1 squared equals 2 squared using the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus 1 equals 4. And if we subtract 1, x squared is 3. And x is equal to radical 3. So the proportion we're looking at here is radical 3. And again, many of you might be familiar with that proportion of a 30-60-90 triangle. 1, 2, radical 3. Now, again, we can double it. So we could make this amount, the radius is 1, which would make double this radical 3. So let's give us some color to talk about it a little bit more easily. If our starting radius was 1, then the proportion of this orange one is radical 3 compared to this 1. So there are a few other things we could take a look at. We're going to go ahead and make a square. So in order to do that, I'm going to extend this line a little bit and I'm going to make equal markings to the center here to here so now I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to use the vesica piscis uh, construction to cut this line in half here so from here to here we're going to cut it in half and go straight down through the middle at 90 degrees perpendicular so I'll open it up. I'll make the mark on top and on the bottom instead of drawing the whole circle. 
and then I'll go to this side and make a mark on the top and the bottom. I could draw the whole circle and we would have the same starting shape that cuts a line in half, a perpendicular bisector construction. So here we go. And we're going to do that same thing on this side here. Now we want to make a square, so we're going to take a look at this greenish turquoise line and we're going to measure the same amount which is up here on the very top of the circle because we're using a radius. So I'm going to connect those two spots and we now have a square. Again if we consider this turquoise line as one, one then what we could do here is we can draw this line from here to here and we will see that it has the proportion of radical 2. So let me get another color here. Uh, let me get red. Now we want to use some math to show the proportions of this red line. Well if this is 1 and this is 1, what we can do is use the Pythagorean theorem again. We have 1 and 1 and we want to find that red line would be x. 1 squared plus 1 squared equals x squared. We square root it. x equals radical 2. So we have the proportion of radical 2 here, radical 3 here, and we can continue And before we find radical 5, I just want to point out that we actually have a few interesting proportions. Here's 1. Well, 1 is the same as radical 1. Square root of 1 is 1. We have radical 2, which is in red. And then we had the orange line, which is radical 3. Well, if this blue line is 1, or the turquoise, then double that from here to here is radical 4. So, so far we have the proportions of radical 1, radical 2, radical 3, radical 4. So the diameter would be double, and the square root of 4 is 2. And so let me use this purple here to demonstrate square root of 4. Now we want to demonstrate the square root of 5 and then get phi, or phi, the proportion of the Fibonacci spiral. So if we connect from here to here, we're going to have the proportion using this half of the radius is 1, we're going to have radical 5. So when we double it here, will have radical 5 in proportion to the whole radius. Let's show you. So if this was 1, which was half our radius, then this one here is double that. We can demonstrate with our compass. If this is 1, then we have 1, 2. 2 times the length. So again, we could use the Pythagorean So again, we could use the Pythagorean theorem, where here we have 1 and 2 and we can find that pink line is x. 1 squared plus 2 squared equals x squared. 1 plus 4. So x squared is equal to 5. Oops. And the square root of x squared is radical 5. So this pink line is radical 5 in proportion to this half radius. So if we simply double it,
now that will be square root of 5 in proportion to the original starting radius. Now I have a video that I'll link to where you can use um, a square and a compass to make all of the square roots. You can see all the proportions starting from one and you can go in theory infinitely as far as you can go. So the, the last step here is to look at the proportions of the Fibonacci spiral, phi. And so that proportion is square root of 5 over 2 plus 1 half. And if this was square root of 5, then this here to here is square root of 5 over 2. And if this was 1, then half of it is 1 half. So if I take this piece plus this piece, I will have that proportion. And it's the proportion to help you uh, make a golden rectangle and a Fibonacci spiral. So let's do that. I'm going to take the length of square root of 5, the pink line, and I'm going to use my compass to mark it here. So from here to here is square root of 5 over 2. Since this whole thing was the square root of 5, half of it is square root of 5 over 2. Now if we add this piece here, if the whole thing is 1, then each one is 1 half. This plus this together will make square root of 5 over 2 plus 1 half. So that'll be the final proportion we look at here. Let's find a color for it, maybe something brown. From here to here is the square root of 5 over 2 plus 1 half. And if we go up one radius, we could draw a Fibonacci or a, a golden rectangle. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to use my 90 degree ruler here. And I'm going to go straight up. But here we have the proportions of a golden rectangle. And what we can do here is we can create a square, which you see here. And if we were to make another square here, it'll leave us, leave us another golden rectangle. And we make another square, and it'll leave another golden rectangle. So let's take a look at that. Here we have our, our starting square here. I'm going to cut this into a square using my compass. So we know a square has equal sides. I'm going to use this amount here and mark it here and here. Now obviously when doing these constructions for demonstration, we're going to do them quickly and not as accurately. You really want to do them slowly and carefully. So now we have another square and it cuts off another golden rectangle. We're going to use our compass to make another square, make even, even sides, and it will cut off another golden rectangle. And then we can do that as far as we can go. I mean, there's a limit to how much you could reasonably do. But the interesting thing about this is we can take a compass and we can begin to show you the Fibonacci spiral. So let me grab a red pen, put it in my compass, and I'm going to use quarters of a circle. I'll start here and I'll make it the length of the biggest square. And I'm going to make a quarter of a circle. Then I'm going to continue that and adjust my compass to the second largest square, and then to the third largest square, and I actually made the square in the wrong position, but I could still use the proportions here. 
so that I should have made the square here instead of up here. So I'll adjust it fairly quickly. So here's the last golden ratio, and we'll end it with that. So we have a really cool ability to use just two circles to find some very interesting proportions. Um, again, the Fibonacci spiral it is 1.618, and it's an infinite decimal represented by the symbol phi, or phi. Um, it helps us to build the golden rectangle, create a Fibonacci spiral, and it's even a number that's found in the pentagon. The proportions of a pentagon have the same ratio.